Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin where we had quite a bit of a, yeah, some people would call it fake out or small pump here overnight um, around the, yeah, just after the weekly candle close, yeah, an engulfing green candle. Um, <clears throat> this, um, this means we tried to push through this trend line here. We talked about this ascending trend line of the channel. Bitcoin failed, um, Bitcoin failed. Um, yesterday, I encourage everybody to, to watch my last Bitcoin video. I talked about how this stuff can be traded, especially this particular price action. Not going to repeat it. It was quite a long video, 15 minutes. But um, what what is the point here is that we certainly have a possibility to get a bullish surprise here. I think that's the idea. And key levels to watch out for are the 23,800 level, or let's say sort of the range between 23,600 to 23,800. If we get above that level, we're suddenly gonna flip from a from a bearish overall scenario into a bullish one, because that level is important. There will be a lot of bias coming. I think there will be a lot of FOMO if we break above that level. 23,800, that is an important level to watch out for. Ideally, I would like to see here a move down in a wave B, um, and then a move up in a wave C. That is one possibility with the wave A staying below 23,800. That would be ideal. In an alternative scenario, we could go down straight away in wave three here. That would be an impulsive move down where we would also lose the um, round about the $19,000 level, that swing low. That would be the other ideal scenario. Um, we should not be surprised if we break through here straight away and get a bullish surprise. That's possible as well. But even if we do that, if we break through here, I would personally not do anything. Of course, you could trade the breakout. I would only do it with a smaller, let's say a smaller portion of my portfolio. And then waiting if the $23,800 level gets broken or not. Because if it does, we're suddenly flipping into a bullish scenario, which doesn't mean we're gonna buy it straight away, you know, run behind the train. We're not doing it. Why? Well, don't do that. And I warned in my previous video against that and explained also why. So keep an eye on that. Watch that video. Um, the other point is here that the next resistance level, if we break this really, I mean, we, we knew this is gonna be a difficult area. This is gonna be a, a very, very strong resistance area. For now, we have not really been rejected. We're hovering below this level. And I think, to be honest, I think the chances that we are going to break this, they are quite high because we are hovering below it. We're moving closer to it. Um, and we could get a bullish surprise because I think a lot of people will expect that we get rejected here. Um, but you can see here we had a lot of people go along here as well. Um, got, got basically faked out, right? The key is, this is the ascending trend line. We have the upper band of the daily Bollinger Bands here. We've got the 50 day moving average. And this is also the 50% FIP level. That's a key resistance area. Now, a, a resistance area above that is a 22.7K level, the 61.8% FIP level. How, how to count this in the micro? You know, there are different possibilities. Um, this is really micro counting and this can change often, but there is certainly a possibility that we have already seen this wave B, to be honest, but it wouldn't be a reliable wave B that I would base any trades on because it is a very, very short wave B. If it is the case, we could say that the peak from yesterday here, um, no, it would need to be here. We'd need to construct this like this. Yeah, that we had here a, a wave B already, so that the wave B itself was a triangle. So A, B, C, D, E, and we came down and then we're moving up now already in wave C. That would be the scenario that we could use. <clears throat> Sorry, if we pump through here straight away, then we could say that the move from yesterday was a wave one. We're now in a wave two. And the next pump, there should be a pump coming that would break through here. That would be the scenario that I'm gonna use if we pump through here. Yeah, that is probably the way I would go with. And as long as we stay below 23,800, then we could say, all right, the wave C happening here. But to be honest, with such a short wave B, with such a short wave B, I have a bit of a problem 
with the length of wave C. You would normally want wave C to be at least a one-to-one -one ratio of wave A, and this would go above 23,800, and we would suddenly push into the bullish scenario, which would make me probably count all of this as an impulse instead of uh, a WXY with an ABC. Yeah, so obviously the wave Y would go higher as well. Um, also, this is an unnaturally long wave Y, so I might need to change that. Should we really push through here? Yeah, that counting that as wave B is unreliable. I would ideally, for a trade, if I was to trade this, I would want to see a wave B that pulls back into this sort of region between 19,280 and 20,200 roughly. Yeah? Then at least we have a reliable wave B and then a move up in a wave C. If we don't see that reliable wave B, it is probably a very bullish setup. And in that scenario, I wouldn't do much. I would just wait for the next larger pullback. If we know that, yeah, with a high likelihood, we have flipped into a bullish scenario, I would then always wait for the next attractive pullback that just brings the the risk reward ratio or reward to risk ratio onto your side. And I think these are the key levels to watch out for. So anybody who wants a bit more context, take a look at my previous video from yesterday. I can only recommend it. And uh, other than that, yeah, I think um, again, the chances we break through to the upside are actually not too low. But ideally also for a trade setup, I would want a pullback either in a wave, well, in a wave B, that would be a good trade setup. And then a move up in a wave C, uh, I mean, a reliable wave B, a clear wave B, and um, alternatively um, to make lower lows and then take it from down here, right? And that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.